So, you've been getting down to the menagerie, building up your chalice of opulence, and grinding towards some of the weapons and armor that you can get from the new six-man activity. And you've been thinking to yourself, man, getting those Imperials to build this dang chalice up is a bit of a grind. How can I do this a little bit faster? Well, Guardians, I may indeed have something for you today. What's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today we're going to be talking about a more efficient way for you to farm Imperials, which will allow you to upgrade your chalice further and faster. And Guardians, this is all going to be tied into a very specific upgrade, and the upgrade in question is Power and Efficiency 2. This upgrade grants an additional weekly powerful reward from the final chest in the menagerie, but also playlist activities may now rarely award Imperials. That's the big kicker there. Getting the double powerful reward from menagerie is good enough. But with this upgrade, you can earn up to 500 Imperials just by running activities in your favorite playlist, whether it be Gambit, Crucible, or Strikes. And that, Guardians, makes it much easier for you to grind up the Imperials you'll need to upgrade the rest of the nodes on the Chalice. After all, some of these get into the upwards of six, seven, eight thousand Imperials to get to. So it's going to take you quite a while to max this thing out. But with power and efficiency too, you get a pretty strong leg up in the competition. Now, of course, when you first start things off, you're going to want to go ahead and get as many of the weekly bounties as you can from either Benedict99 or Werner99 done. Completing those bounties and finding the treasure chests that are tied to them will get you a ton of Imperials, not to mention the fact that they're going to complete triumphs within your inventory that you'll also be able to redeem for 500 Imperials each. Once you've gotten enough to get power and efficiency too, go ahead and purchase it. Additionally, purchasing this upgrade grants you access to the Wealth of the Emperor buff. This significantly increases the chance of earning Imperials from Strikes, Gambit, and the Crucible. It greatly increases the chance of earning Imperials in the Menagerie as well. And the effect is kind of like the boons you can pop. It's going to last until those Imperials are earned meaning you'll have an even better chance at getting those Imperials. You can purchase about three of these per week, and they are account-wide, which shouldn't really matter too much since your Chalice is shared across all of your characters. So now, why is power and efficiency so important? What makes this grind so good? Well, very simple, Guardians. This week, the very first week of the Season of Opulence, guess what's available on the Crucible playlist? That's right, Mayhem is back, and it makes for an incredibly fast way to farm up Imperial Seals. Mayhem games can generally last about 4-5 to five minutes a pop, affording you multiple chances in a very short period of time to earn Imperials. So it's currently a great activity to farm this stuff out in. And once you've got this particular upgrade unlocked, you should hopefully be earning enough Imperials to unlock the rest of the upgrades in no time flat. Additionally, if you're looking for an even less effort way to use up your three boons a week, you can actually kind of combine this with the menagerie cheese we showed off yesterday. Since the bonus Imperials that you get from that game mode come from the chest, you can just use the chest cheese of opening the chest, uh, applying another rune to your chalice, dezoning from the main area, and then returning to the Royal Theater to open the chest again until you get the Imperial Seals. It's not a guaranteed chance from this chest either. But if you don't feel like playing PvP or Gambit or rolling the dice in strikes or anything like that, you can just keep doing this with your weekly bonuses until you get all three of the enhanced drops from the buff. It's definitely cheesy, but it's the good type of cheesy. But alright Guardians, there you go. That's how you can start earning Imperials a little bit faster. Now that at least one day has gone by and all of those weekly bounties can be completed, you should have enough seals to unlock these perks, so get to it. That's going to be it for the video. If you've got any other tips for farming out Imperials, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But alright Guardians, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, aim the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.